body wise? I feel fine. Um, feel good. Feel good. Yeah. So when you when you got your that extended absence, like when did you start to feel game shape, like completely fully uh, engaged? Or you're not there yet. I think I'm near. Um, near, you know, game shape wise, but it, it took about two weeks. Two weeks. I forgot what, what actual game it was, but you know, it took about two weeks and some change. But um, you no, know, it was tough. You know, I went so long without playing basketball at all, then it jumped right back into it. You know, it was definitely an adjustment. Was last night the best you felt shooting wise? The fact that you put up your season high in points, or? Uh, no, I think it, it's been a couple games where I, I felt good shooting, shooting wise. But you know. Um, just getting to the free throw line always helped me and, you know, just staying aggressive and, you know, keeping it going, you know, that, that was all. But, you know, I had a few games since I've been back where I felt great, you know, shooting-wise and everything. But, you know, last night I just shot a little bit more. Confidence-wise, it's a long season. There's always going to be parts of the season where things are a little tougher. Was it good to get that, that confidence I mean, yeah, back last night? Yeah. I mean, is, is it back or did it ever I mean, my, my, my con it never left, you know, honestly. You just always got to stick with it. You understand it's going to be tough times, you know. You're not going to have nights where you can't buy a basket. And you just got to stay confident and, you know, you can't let that deter you or get you down in no type of way. And, you know, that's that's the best part when you, you know, when you're mentally strong because you got to fight through it. A lot of people focus on your offensive contributions, DeMar, but when you take a look at the numbers closely, when you're on the floor, the group is a better defensive group. Last night against Philly, they got some good numbers up. So what do you, as one of the better defenders and, you know, more familiar with the scheme, see happening with this group right now? Yeah, I just, you know, playing on the co coach case, you know, um, for the longest here, just understanding the schemes, uh, you know, the coverages, every little small detail that, you know, uh, the new players might not understand. You know, I've been drilling it for the last four years on the case. So, you know, I just understand that and what we look for on the defensive end. Conceptually, what's key that these other guys need to get that you probably have a better grasp of? I'm um, just reading the play, two two plays ahead, whatever it may be. If it's you know cracking down on the big, um, understanding rotations. You know, really before it happened, and be in the right spot at the right time to be able to get steals or be able to help. The next person, you know, a lot of times our defense is not mainly one-on-one. -on -one. It's ba ba basically helping out your partner, whoever out there on the court with you. You didn't go into specifics yesterday in terms of what coach did to sort of change, shoot around up yesterday, make it more fun. But you said it, it sort of helped the team go into the game with a, a more loose mindset. How, how so? How did it help you guys? You know, we just went out there, you know, we understood we, understood we was, you know, in the slump. We just went out there and have fun and, you know, just put everything else to the side. We're out there have fun with one another and understood, understood, you know, what got us to this point. And, you know, that's all we focus on. And, and we have fun, we laughed, and, you know, I think that, that helps a lot, you know, um, consciously, just when you feel comfortable and, you know, having fun with, with some again. Kyle takes a couple of days off, a couple of games off to see the big picture here, to rest some bumps and bruises. How much do you guys respect that? It's a sign of maturity on his part, right? I mean, yeah, you know, he, he, he had a long year. You know, I was out 21 games, and he carried the load, you know, greatly, you know, with the things that he was doing. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with it at all. You know, he come back fresh. You know, I had my I had my rest for 21 games, so, you know, time for his. And before you know it, you know, um, playoffs to be coming around, and we, we'll be getting ready for that. Everyone's a competitor. Are you okay with players taking rest nights here and there? Like, I'm not doubting that Kyle's banged up, but do you kind of believe in the – the rest philosophy that maybe the Spurs have incorporated, they rested players last year and went on to win it all, or what, what do you see? You know, with the Spurs, you know, they, they was an older team, you know, so they, they had a lot of older guys, so, you know, you kind of understand them in a sort of way, you know, with Tim Duncan, Ginobili, Tony Parker, guys like that. But, you know, with us, a lot of times, if it's, if it's rest, we really banged up just to be able to get them little, them little nagging pains that don't go away, away unless you get rest. So, you know, it'll still be, Still be, you know, pain, but it's just not an injury that you want to get taken care of. What's Cleveland doing more effectively now than they were early in the season in your mind? Sharing the ball. Um, sharing the ball. You know, they playing at a high level. You know, LeBron back comfortable, got them guys rolling. And, you know, Kyrie's playing at a high level. And, you know, um, everybody's just falling in place. And, you know, you could tell. So um, tomorrow's going to be a great game and it should be fun.
What does Mozgov do you think uh, I mean, yeah. means to them? Yeah, Mozgov helps, helps a lot on both ends, you know, defensively, being able to screen the roll, get to the basket. You know, he do a lot of small things that, you know, LeBron always had a big man with him that was able to do. So, you know, that helps a lot. Jamal, when, you, when you see LeBron play, like as a competitor, what, what do you admire the most about his game? Just his poise, you know, he how he read the game. You know, he kind of read the game like, um, you know, like he, Peyton Manning out there or something. You know, you just read defenses, put guys in their best position to be the most effective and, you know, play off that. You know, you got to respect him. And once you respect him, he make you respect the other four guys on the floor.